In our journey of life, we all have moments of epiphany, and I'd like to talk to you about two of mine. The first happened in 1974, about six months after I immigrated to Australia, when I did a training program on the Hum Wadsworth model of core emotions. Up till then, I thought deep down we were all the same. I then realized how different we were, and how we all had different temperaments. And I used it very, very successfully in uh, selling and management. And in fact, I ended up writing a book called Empathy Selling about it. Empathy Selling was published by McGraw-Hill in Australia and Cogan Page in Europe. Uh, Cogan Page is the largest publisher of business books in Europe. And the publishing director kindly said he thought that Empathy Selling was the most innovative book on selling that he'd read in 10 years. The next moment of epiphany happened in 1995. Daniel Goldman wrote a book called Emotional Intel Intelligence. Emotional Intelligence sold 5 million copies in five years and introduced a new word or term into the management lexicon, Emotional Intelligence. Now in the book, Daniel Goldman describe what emotional intelligence is and why it's important. In terms of what, he said it was four things. Uh, Self-awareness, understanding what your core emotions are. Self-control, learning how to control them. Social awareness, or empathy, or understanding the emotions of other people. And then social skills, or relationship management, learning to use the emotions of other people and how to build up, up better relationships with them. Um, now, he was very good at ex explaining why and the what, but he didn't explain how. How do you use, how do you learn about people's core emotions? How do you learn about your own? And when I read the book, I said, I've got the answer, the Hum Wadsworth model of core emotions. I can write the sequel to emotional intelligence. Unfortunately, I was distracted by a career in venture capital. Up to June 2007, I raised 150 million in five different funds. I was the director of some 30 different companies, including SciTech, Neverfell Springwater, and V Commerce. However, it was not all smooth sailing. Um, I've got another keynote presentation which I call 5,000 5, Business Plans, 50 Deals, 25 Write Offs Lessons Learned in a Career in Venture Capital. However, in 2006, my older daughter, Louisa, became a manager of Perpetual Trustees. She was managing 30 people before she was 30. And she turned around to me and said, Dad, you read all the key books on management. What books should I read? And I thought about it, and I said to her, look, the most important thing for managers is people skills. And I ended up recommending Stephen Covey's book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. But I said, Louisa, I will end up, I will write you a book myself. And that's how I came to write the Hum Ham book, Lifting Your Level of Emotional Intelligence. Since then, I've started to reposition myself. I retired in June 2007 from Venture Capital, and now I've, looked, I've become very interested in the area of emotional intelligence. But what I'm trying to sort of uh, put forward is practical emotional intelligence, a real tool for real people. I've attended courses, you know, on DISC, NLP, Myers-Briggs, etc. But I look upon the hum as the Goldilocks method of analyzing people. It's not too simple and it's not too complex. In fact, what's happened is, is in uh, the area of psychology, the five-factor model has become the most scientifically valid. I look at, upon the hum as the five-factor model, model plus two. Okay, it has seven core emotions, and the two are the corporate bully and the corporate psychopath. I think it's the most useful method for salesmen, business development managers, managers, and supervisors to understand the core emotions of their clients and their employees and their superiors. It's a real tool for real people. If you want to learn more about it, buy my book or attend one of my workshops. Thank you.